The 18th of March in 2018, I was driving home from Canberra and it wasn't until we got down into the valley and um, opened the car windows and felt the just blowtorch wind that I realised how dangerous that day was. Tony and I stood at the boat ramp because we could see the house from there and we could see the fire behind the house. We spent four hours just watching that monster come towards us and in the end I was lucky, we were lucky, we didn't lose the house, but not relieved because so many people I knew had lost their homes. We spent a lot of time walking through the burnt areas, it was the silence. It's just like a moonscape, there's no birds, no lizards, no insects. I don't think we ever felt defeated by what had happened to us. We wanted nothing more than to see changes that would stop it happening to someone else. The Environmental Defenders Office actually made this whole process so easy for us. They gave us the confidence to go forward with this case. At no point did anyone have concerns about where this might end up, other than that we really wanted to see a win. Finally getting your day in court is, is nerve-wracking, of course, but it became clear very quickly that this is serious, that our futures were hanging in the balance. So we won. <laughs> and it was only after I was talking to the EDO about what it meant that I started to really understand that not just a win, but a win in a landmark case. That fire woke me up to how immediate this is and how many people are already suffering the effects of climate change. The work of the EDO is critical and someday you might need them. So please donate today.